Oh, well, 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 will you look at this? ChatGPT said, hey, I'm gonna make this product way better than you could imagine, and they did. And we're gonna talk about how these different upgrades and GPT Plus can help you improve your skills using them. Here are some ChatGPT features that you didn't know. First of all, ChatGPT can now browse the web, analyze data, and generate images. If I press get started, you'll notice now that they changed the layout to not be above anymore. I have ChatGPT4 and I have the option to use 3.5, but why would I, you know? Because if I go to GPT4, it doesn't have a output limit anymore as a ChatGPT plus user. And if I click plugins, you'll notice that while there are downloadable plugins that I can use, and I can go to the plugin store and grab any of them, GPT4 now has a myriad of more built-in features that you weren't familiar with. First of all, if I were to take an image, this is an image of me. I could say, describe the person you see and their surroundings in vivid detail. Just see, it's gonna go here. It's gonna interpret me, which is wild. Yes, I almost swore just there. The person in the image appears to be a young adult male, likely in his 20s. Yep, oh, very accurate. This, this is all, this was shot like a couple years ago. He has a lean build and a sharp facial profile with prominent cheekbones and a strong jawline. Oh, heck yeah, I got a strong jawline. Let's go, ChatGPT. I know I do, what about you? I am fair complexioned and dark brown hair. Yep, mm-hmm. This is exactly what I was trying to go for with this picture, so I'm glad AI agrees with me. He's wearing a casual, short-sleeved crew neck t-shirt that fits snugly, suggesting an athletic or slender physique. Ha, huh. I am athletic, thank you. I know I'm jocked. The background suggests an outdoor setting with bright natural daylight. He is seating with a blurred backdrop. Wow, it even can interpret the blurred backdrop. Urban park, that's accurate, I was at a park. The overall atmosphere is casual and relaxed, yet the subject's contemplative demeanor adds a layer of depth to the scene. I'm so glad that they interpreted this so well. That is amazing. You know, I'm really happy that ChatGPT can do this. Um, it's hilarious. You can now press recycle right here. They've kind of updated the UI a little bit to make it more cool. So you can interpret pictures now, but what's wild is that for a while people have been able to share links to chat. Uh, you can't do it with images yet, but if I were to example, start a new chat, just put make a content strategy. After this ends up getting put out, I have the ability to hold on to this guy, is to press this in the top right. And then when the generated response is over, you'll notice now that copy link is available. You can change the name here too if you want. To what it would be but when i copy this link and then send it out to somebody you then have the ability to press get started with ChatGPT, and you're essentially able to continue what the link was just sent out to you and continue this conversation if you were somebody else now another really cool feature is that with this file upload option it actually can interpret things like csvs and whatnot let's take an example week of transactions so it says that you uploaded a file named how can I assist? Yep. Um, what does this spreadsheet appear to showcase? So I'm gonna see how well it can interpret it. And you'll notice that now it has this little analyze button. And what it's doing is it's using Python to showcase this. And then if I untick this, it stops showing the data and transactions and amounts. The data on which, oh man, this is insane how smart this is. I can't even interpret why this thing is so smart. I'm mind boggled. Okay, so the spreadsheet appears to showcase a record of financial transactions for an individual organization. This is accurate. It has the date, provides a brief description, some examples, the amounts, transaction type. So it took all of the different, oh my God. And then if you wanted to see the full analysis, you can click on that. So that is wild. Um, is there any large purchases that stand out? I, I just, <laughs> like, so it is able to interpret the CSV and this can be very good for a lot of things. I mean, talk about analyzing data sets for things like reporting at a marketing agency, so many different options to choose from, right? So several large purchases and significant financial transactions. Here are some that stood out, credit card payments and transfers. Essentially, I do move some money around, so and I get some payments, so th this is interesting. So essentially, I do make some payments to things like deal. So as you can see with all the different headers, the credit card payments and transfers, the business and tax related payments, the large shopping and service transactions, all of these are mind boggling to me that this is a thing and that it interprets all of these. So if you're not utilizing ChatGPT4 to its fullest, I really recommend you even try out the CSV uploads. There's also the ability to interpret PDFs as well. Like for example, this is a book that I wrote. 10 steps to saving time and doing more. What is the general premise of this ebook? 
It's gonna go and read the document. Now this is a long document. This is like, I believe 60 something pages of writing. So if this interprets it in a matter of like 30 seconds, I'm a, I won't be surprised, but somehow not surprised. Okay, turns out it only took 20 seconds. The ebook 10 Steps to Saving Time and Doing More is centered around the concept that time is the greatest asset one has and often the most squandered. That is the entirety of the premise of the first chapter and I have successfully freaked out. This is insane. The fact of the matter is this thing has the ability to check out this entire 84 page ebook that quickly. I am mind boggled right now that this is a thing. The fact that you can do this is insane. And if you're not utilizing any of these upload features, you're completely missing out on this product. Another nice touch that they added recently is you can press explore over here and um, you'll notice that there's some other things that you can do like customizing your versions of ChatGPT. So if I click on the Dale one, you see that there's custom versions, press get started. Essentially, when I go here now, there's a bunch of different options, by the way, you, you know, you can um, basically utilize what's maybe similar to like a persona or something. You can see that there's like game time, learn board games, negotiator, learn how to be a better negotiator for yourself. I really like that one, obviously. But with Dale, you can essentially turn your imagination into imagery. And this is a open AI product that now they integrated inside of here. So if I say make a, a custom logo for a company called Rise Productive, utilizing a RP text combination with the colors of black and white. It'll then try to make a logo for me. Which, um, once again, what? As it's creating this side note, you can close and open up the sidebar now in a very aesthetic way inside of ChatGPT. Look at this, it understands text now. Here's two custom logo designs. Like, not perfect, but not bad. I've seen worse from myself and other graphic designers. So shout out to you, JGPT, for allowing us to download these immediately. Zoom in on them, check them out. Uh, what's the size on this anyways? But you, it's like a quality image size too for some ungodly reason. Yeah, by default, it was 1024 by 1024, which is pretty solid. If I was more specific, I'm sure this would be even better, but you know, what can you do? And what can you do about checking out more content like this one on how to improve your skills using productivity apps like this one even more?